All right, guys, welcome to Flav Oriana's MMA Show. I'm your host, Flav Oriana, brought to you by Four Corner Sports. All right, guys, so Dana White ended up making a huge announcement um, the, the past couple days. And, man, what's it called? This International Fight Week card, I'm actually looking forward to it a lot. Um, even though I'll be on vacation around that time, still not going to stop me from watching these fights. And... Well, let's get started with these with these announcements. So, he originally made an announcement. I believe it was Friday, and he made an announcement regarding towards the fights that he has planned up. You know, coming along. So he made a couple of announcements. Um, so first to start it off, he made an announcement as for 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 International Fight Week UFC two ninety. Nico Price versus Robbie Lawler. Now. I'm kind of surprised. I'm, I'm, I'm not surprised. This is a very fan friendly fight. Love Nico Price when he fights. I can never forget the fact when he ended up knocking out James Vick with that flaunt, with that up kick right to his jaw, putting him to sleep. And that was the last time we saw James Vick inside the UFC. That I think it was two, uh, 2019 in Tampa, Florida. Um, love that. You know, he was. That's going to be a highlight reel forever in Nico Price's career. Robbie Lawler, I mean, this guy has a, a huge highlight reel. Everybody talks about the Carlos Condit fight. Um, what's it called? They talk about him and um, what is it called? Uh, Rory McDonald. Phenom- phenomenal resume um, that he has. And I just think that uh, this is going to be a good, a good fan-friendly fight. I'm favoring Nico Price, just letting, letting you know right now. The younger fighter. I just think Robbie has been through so many wars that I just don't think that he's physically able to um withstand that much punishment you know now that he's getting what is he in his 40s right now i mean he's getting up there but he's taking so much serious punishment in his career i don't think he's gonna be able to last i'm actually predicting a nico price by knockout um next we're actually getting a rebooking of uh, for international fight week we're supposed to have this on the ufc 285 card but unfortunately injuries did happen and Causing one of these fighters to having to pivot and fight somebody else. We are actually having um, Jalen Turner versus Dan Hooker. I love this fight. Um, I think this is an easier fight, in my opinion, for um, for uh, what's it called, Jalen Turner. Whew, man, what's it called? Dan Hooker, he's always getting himself into these very, very um, tough fights. And I, I applaud him for that. I really do. I just think that um, Jalen Turner is the real deal. I think that Jalen Turner is more than likely going to submit uh, Dan Hooker. Dan Hooker hasn't been the same. And, and I've been saying this since it happened. Dan Hooker hasn't been the same, in my opinion, since not only the Paul Felder fight. But he hasn't been the same since he fought Dustin Poirier back in 2020. And that was in, what, June of 2020? We are now in... April of 2023, by going to May of 2023, and Dan Hooker still has not been the same since then. Because yes, he beat Na- uh, Nas Hack uh, Hackbrass. If I'm correcting his, if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, um, he beat people like him. But Dan Hooker has not been the same. I mean, what's it called? Uh, Jalen Turner. He fought M- Matus Gamera, and that was a tough fight. Um, that was a high level MMA fight that I was looking forward towards. Split decision. But if we're going to look at Dan Hooker's resume, this is who Dan Hooker has, has been. Claudio Poyas, right, on, on the MSG card, all right? Lost to Arnold Allen when he dropped down to 145. I understand that. He dehydrated himself because of 145. Don't really like that. I, no, I'll turn Lost to Islam Mahachev, all right? I understand that, too. Uh, Nasrat Hakras, um, he, lo- uh, he ended up defeating. Lost to Michael Chandler, all right? I'm, I'm very mixed to Michael Chandler. I'm a big Michael Chandler fan. I'll say you that. But, um, what's the quote? I think he should have been able to defeat Michael Chandler. Uh, lost, lost to Dustin Poirier. Understandable, all right? For Paul Felder. That was a crazy fight. Uh, defeated Al Iguinta. Defeated James Fick, all right? And then, obviously, he lost to Edson Barboza. So, that's a good... That's a good uh, li- that's a good uh, resume right there, just to start it off. And that's all within, what, 2019, all right? In four years stretch, th- this man has had, what, one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine. About to have ten fights in in about a four year span. That's pretty good right there. But I just think that he's eating up so many wars. I think Jalen Turner is gonna easily defeat um Dan Hooker. And there's little that Dan Hooker is gonna be able to do with that. Um the UFC also ended up announcing uh, Jack Hermanson and Brendan Allen. That's not an international fight. We card that is going to be happening at the apex. Don't really care for the fight. I mean, it, it's one of those fights I feel like that the UFC is putting out there as a main event just because they, have, they are putting out, what, like 45, 48 fights per um, cards per year. At some point, you are going to need to, you know, dish out, you know, what's it called? Middleweight, middleweightiest fights as the main events. So, I mean, it is what it is. Um, also announced, this, uh, what's it called? Also announced beforehand, uh, the week prior, Sean Strickland versus Abusiapian Magomedov. All right. Very weird fight to have as a main event. Didn't understand that. I don't know too much about him, but I mean, Sean Strickland, this would be like his third fight in like six months. Kudos to him. Then we're going to get Marvin Vittori versus Jared Cannonier on June 17th. All right. Love this fight. I think both these guys, what's it called, have the ability to fight for a title if Israel Adesanya is not in that division. I just, um, unfortunately, Israel Adesanya is the boogeyman of that division, and both these guys lost to him. Uh, Vittori twice, Cannonier lo- um, losing, but he also. Lost a lot of fans with that snoozer. Um, we have a co-main event on, uh, for the Vancouver card on June 10th. It is Charles Oliveira versus Benio Darius. Now, that fight was actually supposed to happen in two weeks from now. But unfortunately, that's, that fight is not going to happen just because of the fact that Oliveira pulled out because of an undisclosed injury. Uh, whether that's true or not, Benio had the speculations that um, Oliveira wasn't really training. More focused on tattoos. find that kind of interesting right there. But I love this because it, that card needed some help. That needed a boost. And I just think that, what's it called? Amanda Nunes versus Junior Alapena 3 on, Van, on the Vancouver card is just not it. Love that fight. Especially when you have Nate the Train Landwehr um, fighting on that card against Dan Ige. That's fireworks right there. That might actually be your fight of the night. Don't be surprised. Um, but yeah, love that fight as a co-main event for um, Oliver versus Darius. The winner of that should get a title fight. Especially if it's if it's Darius, if it's Oliveira, I, I believe Dustin Poirier, um, for him sitting out as long as he has, uh, he's more more than likely going to face Islam Makachev realistically by Abu Dhabi. Um, we have another co-main event um, announcement, and that is actually for the May six card, which is happening in two weeks, guys. In Newark, New Jersey. Uh, it will be Bilal Muhammad versus Gilbert Burns. These two have been chirping at one another on Twitter, and they're finally going to get what they ex- exactly had wanted. Um, it is a co main event. It's a title eliminator, in my opinion. The, the winner of this most likely will get a title shot after Kobe versus Leon Edwards. That fight, by the way, has not been officially announced. Um, but this is this co main event is going to be for five rounds. So. Love this matchup. I don't know who I'm going to be favoring. i am be very, very surprised if Bilal Muhammad really just tries to, to utilize his wrestling just because Gilbert Burns is a magician when it comes to the jiu-jitsu um, ground game. But we'll see what happens. If we get Bilal Muhammad that we, we ended up getting at last year's Abu Dhabi card when he fought Sean Brady, that would be phenomenal right there. Um, would love to see that because that Bilal Muhammad was fun as hell to watch. Um... We also ended up getting an announcement of Jack Della Maddalena. He last fought on the Perf card against Randy Brown. He will be fighting um, none other than, I had it right over here, guys, Sean Brady. Um, wow. If I'm Sean Brady, I am taking this guy down, and I am trying to expose him uh, on the lack of ground game that Jack Della Maddalena could have or might uh, might not have, but we already saw how you how you were in a striking battle against somebody that's not a striker. This is somebody that has knockout power. I said this in my previous video. If John Jones was to fight Sergey Pavlovich, he would take him down because he is not an idiot. He has a high IQ and he knows that Pavlovich could put the lights out on him. If I'm Sean Brady, I'm taking down um, Jack Della Maddalena just because you can't be that stupid. You're not a striker. 
All right, you you got dropped, you got knocked down by a non-striker. What makes you think that it's gonna ha- it's not gonna happen to you again? All right, and I I would favor Jack Della Maddalena as of right now, but if, if Sean Brady actually uses his head a little bit, we will actually see a longer fight and something that favors him. And then lastly, um, what's it called? Davidson Figueredo versus Manel Cap. Now Manel, Manel Cap and Davidson Figueredo that will be on the international fight week card. Um. Davis Figueredo was supposed to go up to 135, but he says he probably going to do what, what three more fights at 135. I think he's trying to see if he could get one more shot at the at the flyweight title. I don't see that happening, um, just because I think Brandon Moreno he is in his physical prime, and I think that he will defeat Alex Pantoja, which uh, which would eliminate any possibility of uh, Davis and Figueredo um, fighting again for a fifth time against Brandon Moreno. I have actually favored Manel Cap to defeat Davidson Figueredo. I just think Davidson Figueredo he gets superly drained down in these large weight cuts that he has to go down to 125 pounds. But and also the final announcement: Robert Whitaker versus Drickus Duplessis. Now Drickus Duplessis has been having a lot of beef with um, Israel Adesanya. Israel and Drickus Duplessis do not get along after Drickus Duplessis' comments about uh, being who is the real African fighter in the UFC or whatever. It was very, very uncomfortable and cringy to hear. Um, that is not my lane, not my avenue, but you can see why, what's it called, uh, Adesani has an issue because he is um, Nigerian descent. He was born in Lagos, Nigeria. Um, Kamaru Usman had a lot of offense to that too. He's also a Nigerian fighter as well too. So, um, Adesanya really wants to fight Drickus, but I think he wants Drickus to get one more key victory in order to make it official for, you know, him to have a title shot. Who none other than Robert Whitaker. Now, Robert Whitaker, the man doesn't lose to anybody not named Israel Adesanya. And the man, you know, just defeats everybody that's in his war path. Now, It'd be very interesting to see what happens if Whitaker wins, but if if Drickus Duplessis wins, we already know what's going to end up happening. So, great fights that are beginning happening so far in the summer and leading up up to International Fight Week. The International Fight Week card looks phenomenal with Volkanovski and Yair Rodriguez at the top of, as the main event. Moreno versus uh, Alexander Pantoja, Whitaker and Drickus Duplessis, um, Manel Cav versus Davis and Figueroa. And what's it called? Sean Brady versus um, Jack Della Maddalena and the whole nine. Guys, can't wait until <coughs> until what's it called? More of the fight starts to get unveiled. But until then, guys, I am Flav Oriana. Thanks for tuning in, uh, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, do you would you go to Vegas to watch this fight? Are you gonna pay the eighty dollars to watch this card and whatnot? And Let's, let's have a great summer, guys, and I'll see you guys uh, in the next video. See you guys. Peace.